Hey guys, it's your boy Big D here. It's time to do a reaction to the Mad Max gameplay for the PlayStation 4 uh, that has released from Gamescom 2015. This is 13 minutes of new PS4 gameplay. Uh, the the guys uh, who the um, creators or you know workers from the company Avalanche are talking uh, like they're doing a you know they're just talking about what's going on on the screen so. I'm going to be watching it. I'm super excited for this Mad Max game. I haven't seen much gameplay from it, so now I get to see it. And uh, I don't know. It comes out, like, in less than a month. So let's see if it's worth buying or checking out. I don't even have money, but uh, we'll find a way. The ground up the rival, that's the open world game. So um, what we're going to show for you today is uh, hopefully a wide range of different mechanics. Uh, you're going to see, you've jumped into about halfway through the game and you're going to see some of the characters that you'll um, quirky wasteland characters true to the Mad Max lore. Oh. That you're going to have to deal with. It looks beautiful, man. And it's a live demo. I, I, I think uh, you've joined us before, we've had trailers and whatnot, but this is the first time I've actually seen it played live. Whoa. Yeah, so you see um, Evan here is uh, playing as Max. What he tore down there, he used uh, a harpoon, which is one of the weapons that we have loaded onto the back of the magnum opus. That's Max's car that he's trying to build. Um, and he used that harpoon, very versatile weapon, um, until he used it to pull down a scarecrow. Oh man, that, that took him down. It did. They only need to do that once, right? I would think. Yeah, yeah if, if your ambition level is low, but if you want to do it plenty of times, that's fine too. So. Uh, what we're doing here is strengthening, we're sort of working the wasteland, trying to um, weaken Scabrous Scrogus, who's the warlord in this region, weaken his stranglehold. And you saw Evan using the harpoon to take down some, Max of, the, looks awesome. uh, some of the tethers for this Hold balloon. the break. And now that it's loose, hopefully we can use it for something. Oh, he's not happy you did that. Whoa. Oh, he just kind of crumbled down there. So you see some hand to hand combat there. Um, Max is, you know, fairly brutal, efficient fighter. Definitely prone to use anything within arm's reach. Right. Weapons, disarm enemies, shields. Uh, and as you progress throughout the game, um, you know, new sort of combat moves and abilities and buffs will open up. So this is our first look at everything, the wasteland. Oh, the wasteland, okay. There you go. And once we take this view, we'll have lots of opportunities to close us on the map. Scarecrow. A camp. A sniper. This gives us a bit of a strategic view. Whoa, the, the map is huge. There's also a bunch of stuff that we'll discover on the way as we're exploring, um, and there's a bunch of stuff that will never be, you know, marked on the map, like random examples, things that just pop up. Look at that, the map is else. huge. No, they just come out of nowhere. Yep. That's a big game, man. So, you know, again, the open world, one of the things that is the Avalanche Promise is that if you can see it, you can go into it, it. Yeah. Okay. and you can choose, we could just head west, keep on driving, and forget that there's a game for the content waiting for us. So yeah, you really, you could just get lost in all the side quests and uh, all the other crazy things. Yeah. In fact, we, we, I like have, that. we usually try to, internally we say that we promote the character to be one of, or the world to be one of the game's main characters. And we want you to feel that you can uncover secrets and uncover its personality. And, you know, this is awesome, man. I, I, I feel it, man. So we reward this you. Mad Max game looks with, pretty good. You know, items and, and uh, clues as to what happened in this world. <laughs> oh, wow, that was awesome. He just harpooned the guy. Storm approaching, seek shelter. So there's storms. So that harpoon is definitely a weapon that you can become addicted to pretty fast. 
something that happened there. It's like a religion for these guys. But he knows that he needs Max to help him out. Um, you know, scavenge for parts. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. That was a gutsy move getting out of the car. It's a good thing he rolled out of the way both times. <laughs> oh. Is it okay to have a game over and a lot of Twitch Yeah, absolutely. This is a live game. <laughs> you got ran over earlier. Okay. So we're going to try and take down some of these defenses. What's happening here is that one of Scabrous Rogues is the lieutenant, a guy called Stanko, particularly evil. He's attacking this stronghold. And Max and Chumbo get after a little uh, negotiation decide that if, if they manage to thwart the attack, defend them off, then they can gain favor with Pink Eye and she'll give them some information about an important engine that they need to complete their car. So, beyond the films, uh, the Mad Maxes, yeah. what other insight is there into the character? Are there books and whatnot, or is it just the films that exist for you to get like information to create an original story on this? Yeah, so it's the films, um, it's the mind of George Miller. Okay. Um, it's, I mean, we have taken influences from, you know, the, the subculture that has grown up after since the, the film it has been a long time. Right. So people are filling in the gaps. You know, you have Wasteland Weekend and a whole bunch of cosplayers. I've seen loads of them here at the show. So, you know, a lot of people have uh, kept the Mad Max lore um, and things alive. Oh, oh, that was awesome. I think we can show a bit of uh, first person. You see like a lot a grenade of grenade launcher. We'll have to use harpoon mounted thunder sticks. There's first Shotgun. person too. Even have a sniper rifle. Let's finish this guy off the old fashioned way. We need to fix the car. And what is he going to do? Just like help out? Work on the car before it gets yeah, on he's, fire. He's mending your car. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. In fact, if you get lost, just, just give him a whistle and he'll drive your car to Oh, he'll just bring it to you. Yeah. So we're using all of the sort of um, offensive options that we have on the vehicle here. Oh. Yes. Oh. oh man, he ran into it. Wow. <laughs> and you see Max reloading their ammo, uh, fuel, health, uh, so water and food. All of those things are important economies that you're going to have to manage. You're going to have to. I was going to ask about the fuel. So you have to manage fuel? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So you can run out. You won't be totally stranded. You'll just go at a much slower pace. Much slower pace. Yeah. Okay. This game's pretty good. Oh. 
Oh, you see weird. a thing called the fury meter. Oh, yeah, yeah. At the top right. So if you pull off to the well-timed parry counter moves or combos uh, and master the basics of hand-to-hand -hand combat, you'll fill that meter. And once it gets full, it'll go into this fury mode, which makes him super powerful, does much more damage, opens up a whole bunch of really killer, uh, you know, finishing moves. And oh, damn! A shotgun got him good. Well, how hard is it to uh, find ammo? I mean, I see him shooting people and whatnot. Yeah, so for this demo, we've buffed them a little of bit. Of course, of course. But uh, you definitely will. Ammo, food, water, um, you, you, you wouldn't, for example, pass a bunch of valuable scrap without picking it up there. <sighs> Damn, so you need to get water and all that. Like, you have to feed yourself. That's crazy. So we're just uh, making our way into Pink Eyes Stronghold. You see that it's still infested by Slant Jones henchmen. It's got hurt. Oh, it's awesome. Nice. Bang. Oh, he just popped. He just popped like your mama's rock. I'm about to pick up some thunder sticks. Thunder oh, sticks. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> oh, the fury meter. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, yeah. There you go. Now we're in fury mode. Oh, he is. Okay. He's just going ballistic now. What's going to stop oh. him down? Mmm. So as you can see, you know, he's Mad Max, he's an experienced fighter, uh, he's skilled he in the cop, survival, so. very efficient at right. combat. What if he never would have gotten angry? What if his, what if those biker gang would have just left his family alone in the first film? He'd be called Mad Max, Randy Laxa. We finish it! Call the block, Wheels! It finishes today. Master order this? Scrotus were? Are you playing solo? Oh, it's safe. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Whoa. Come on, Max. So the lady in the wheelchair is Pink Eye. She's the one that occupies the stronghold. Oh, and okay. It's kind of like a... Yeah, one of the last bastions of resistance. Thank you. Thank you. Incredible stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming out here and showing this with us. I, I hope, I don't know what happens after this. Maybe Max helps out. Maybe everything works out for the best. We're just going to have to wait until September 1st, right? September 1st. Yeah, September 1st. Xbox this could be the very end. The, Max might not be able to make this. Yeah, he doesn't know. He doesn't. I don't know. You guys made it, but you're not telling us anything. Thank you guys so much for coming out here. Is there anything else you want to share with us real quick? Uh, no, just the platforms, PS4, Xbox One, PC, September 1st, as you said. Hope you like. Awesome. Um, pretty awesome. I like the gameplay. I like Max's voice. I like the way that the car drives. I like the combat. The combat looks like it could get a little stale after a while, but for most of the time, it looks like a fun game overall. And... Most of it's going to be a wasteland, but sometimes you just got a Tom Hardy. And my name is Max, and my world is fire and blood. I am the road warrior. I am the one who runs from both the living and the dead. Until next time, guys, hope all of you enjoyed. May Spock be with you. Always, I give it a B plus, man. I enjoyed the gameplay. It looks really awesome, and I want to buy it bad, but I just don't have the money for it. But um, one day, Christmas maybe, I'll get it. See y'all soon.